An Oklahoma attorney and her alleged love interest now find themselves on the wrong side of the law. Both face charges after a raid uncovered drugs and guns. News Force Caitlin Ogle is in Wellston, where neighbors there say they're now stepping up security following the arrests. The attorney and her alleged boyfriend found with several pounds of marijuana and baggies of meth inside the attorney's home. Online court records reveal the attorney represented her boyfriend in several cases in the past, along with several inmates in the jail right now. It's really pretty quiet here until we see a whole truckload of cops going down the road. A shocking sight for neighbors. They had like seven police cars sitting down here on the corner of my property. Deputies raiding Wellston attorney Deborah Campbell's home December 2nd. Neighbor Patricia Cole knew something was going on. That was my mother's property, and we sold that property in 2017. She was a lawyer. Inside the 59 year old's home, deputies say they found six pounds of processed weed, 100 grams of meth, guns, one loaded, and more than $4,300 in cash. They also found personal items belonging to her alleged boyfriend, Michael Culp, who's been convicted on drug charges in the past. She has a handful of clients that's here in the jail that she represents, and Michael Culp was one of them. 40 year old Culp still locked up. Campbell out on bond but wearing an ankle monitor. So we called her law firm, but no answer. And at her home, the gates shut. Neighbor Timothy yeah, Sapp says know. now he's ramped up surveillance. Yeah, we just went out and bought 400 and something dollars worth of security yesterday just because of that. Oh, wow. You know, we never had to protect ourselves up here before. It's scary. In Wellston, Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Caitlin, thank you. Because Campbell and Culp are ro involved romantically and have an attorney client relationship, the sheriff says it could be tricky for the courts to decide what information on their cell phones can be used in court.